You've got the suit, you've got the watch, you've got the belt. You must be excited. Very, very excited. I've scrubbed up well today, as you can see. Um, and I'm just very, very excited for Saturday night. Obviously, I've seen Terry for the first time today, laid eyes on him, stayed into his eyes, seeing what he's all about, heard what he's had to say. Uh, like I say, all the talking is done, weighing tomorrow, and then we go to action on Saturday night. Your last two fights of Queensbury live on BT Sport. You were already a way fighter, you were already underdog. This time you're topping the bill, you're the champion. How's that feel? Special. Like I say, it's been a long, long road here. Um, I'm very, very grateful and appreciative to Frank for making me top of the bill in this first fight together, like I say, and I'm going to seize the moment, make the most of it, and uh, bring this European title back to Doncaster on Saturday night. Um, like I say, it's about me pushing to the next, next level now, and uh, I've got to show on Saturday night that I'm levels above Terry Lecouvier. This is your first time meeting Cherry. He said he's bringing war. He said he was going to eat you, whatever that means. What do you know about him? Have you been able to watch him fight? Have you been preparing for specific things? Or is this a bit of a mystery for you that you're going to find out with the first bell? There's not much on him. I've probably got more chance of seeing him eat, uh, eat a meal than what I have of his footage of him fighting. But um, Ray's found bits and bobs. Like I say, I've seen the odd clip. Don't need to look too much into it. Uh, I think he's quite aggressive. He's talking a war, which means he might lean towards that kind of battle, which would be good for fans. Uh, so it's down to me to adapt on night. But like I've said and said over and again, experience plays a part, and that's where you'll see me adapt and um, show my levels on Saturday night. Of course, camp is over now. Have you been training, you know, your power, looking for a knockout? Or has it been maybe a bit more cardio? You know you're going to maybe take 12 rounds. What are you looking for in this fight? I'm always ready for 12 rounds. And, you know, starting the first round, and finishing exactly the same in the last round, uh, relentlessly if I need to. Uh, so I'm always prepared, never cut corners. Uh, if it goes to full 12, it goes to full 12. It's nothing I've not done before many, many times. I'm not even sure if, well, to be honest with you, how many times Terry's done it. Once, I can't see it be more than that. Um, if it goes early, it goes early. It's a bonus. But as long as it's a Cunningham win Saturday night, that's all that matters. As long as I bring this belt back home and we're moving on to bigger and better things. I'm just looking at the rest of the card because it's quite an exciting night of action. There's the young Canes on the card and Nathan Heaney. What do you think about the other fighters on the card? Have you been able to watch a lot of them? Uh, not so much, obviously. I've heard a lot about Nathan. Uh, he's a sound lad as well, uh, talking to him beforehand. Uh, he's got a big, big following. Uh, so it's exciting. I'm, I'm going to be you know, looking forward to being part of that atmosphere because I've seen, obviously, the clips on YouTube and all the rest of it and I've heard a lot of stories. I think even one of our fighters, Serge, thought he's, uh, Nathan, uh, it might have been Stoke Hall, is it? But uh, I reckon that will kind of sum some intimidating atmosphere if you like. So I'm looking forward to being part of it. Um, it's a shame about some other fighters on the bill. Obviously, um, Liam Davis, I think Brad was supposed to be on at one point as well, Foster. Uh, so yeah, there's some rivalries been built up along the way, but uh, still a good solid card on Saturday night. And obviously, all I'm bothered about is that it's a Cunningham win. So yeah, roll on Saturday. Lastly, we don't want to overlook your fight, but next week is Fury versus Dillian White on BT Sport box office. What's your prediction for the big one? You've got to go with Fury, haven't you? Uh, you've got to go with Tyson Fury. Uh, it's going to be good. I wish Dillian had have been a bit more involved or, you know, and had been played game a bit more, if you like, towards uh, the build-up, because it had been good to watch. Uh, but it sells itself anyway. And like I say, I expect a Fury win. But Dillian is, is dangerous, isn't he? He's dangerous, so we'll see what he brings. It's his world title shot. Uh, looking forward to it, but you've got to go with Fury win.